Um, so uh, I just let us to pray, then we'll get started with today's um, study. Uh, but so today's study uh, is entitled the amazing experience of um, revival part two. The amazing experience of revival part two. Let's pray. Dear God, I pray that as we try to understand a bit more about you, that you give us the understanding that we need in order to be able to uh, comprehend what you don't want to teach us. I pray that you would help us to be able to also put into practice whatever that we hear um, and that it will also be of um, a benefit to us. We ask you all of these and many more blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The Amazing Experience of Revival, Part 2. Revival does not occur because of something that we do as Christians. Revival is the uh, result of God working in our midst. However, there are things that Christians must do in order for revival to take place. There is an inseparable relationship between revival and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Ellen White wrote in her book, um, Selected Messages, um, book two, page 57, she wrote that the baptism of the Holy Ghost as on the day of Pentecost will lead to a revival of two religion and the performance of many wonderful works. The baptism of the Holy Spirit um, spiritually revised the, the um, the Odyssean church, um, um, a Christian, and gives him or her the power to witness for Christ. Jesus certainly knew the importance of what would happen when the Holy Spirit would be poured out on the, out in the early rain power on the day of Pentecost. Speaking of this, he said in Luke chapter 12, verse 49, I have come to bring fire on the earth and how I wish it were already kindled. What fire was Jesus speaking of? Of course, he was speaking about the fire of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, um, 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 John answered, saying to all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I is coming, who, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to lose. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. This is found in Luke chapter 3, verse 16. 
how do you, uh, the Odysian Christians uh, receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and experience revival the same way believers always have by prayerfully uh, 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 receiving the, the promise of God and also uh, taking hold of the promise of God. The baptism of the Holy Spirit was received by the early church on the day of Pentecost as a result of them praying together for 10 days, uh, receiving Christ's promise. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the woman and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brothers this is found in Acts chapter 1 verse 14 and then confirm the necessity of uh, prayer for revival to take place when she wrote, a revival need, need be expected only in answer to prayer. Um, this is found in page 121 of her books, of her book, Singular, um, selected messages. Every Christian today needs to pray the prayer of Daniel that I mentioned at the close of yesterday's um, devotional. Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Psalm 85 verse 6. Revival was not only reserved for the early Christians, um, the, the early Christian church. In the book of Second Chronicles, um, we read a very um, unambiguous description of how revival uh, takes place among God's people. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive them of their sins and heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse 14. God is ready and willing to pour out his spirit, but revival requires 100% um, surrender to God on our part, let me read that quote again. This is very important. Uh, God is, is, is um, ready and willing to pour out his Holy Spirit, but revival requires 100% surrender to God on our part, on our part. In essence, it says, um, emphasize that we also have a role to play as well when it comes to revival. Um, this is why in God's message to the 
um, Leodicin, um he, he counsels them to buy of him. I counsel you to buy for me gold um, refined in the fire that you may be rich and white um, garments that you may be clothed that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. Revelation chapter three, verse 18. We buy by giving ourselves unreservedly to God. There may be financial wrongs to be righted, which may um, cost us money. There may be apologies to be given, which will cost us our pride. However, if you want to make, if you want to um, make the devil tremble, begin to seek God earnestly for revival. Amen. And so what today's um, lesson is really emphasizing to us is that um, even though God has given us the promise that he would um, pour out his Holy Spirit to us, upon us rather, uh, that we also have a role to, to um, also play as well. Uh, for example, um, I was saying it to me, bon I was saying to me, King Kai, a chair, Hong Kong. I was saying it to me, a ye, a hand tie, and a a homa so a free me. Not a telebuqua, for not a beer, unia be, I be great yell, and I was also a be great yell beer. Because of a hand tie, being to not say beer, umbers of bedding, overpart on your bacona chua. I was saying, would you make a negative rate of wine or prime or prime? And I said, what happened? I was saying, would you make a manuco for the sake of say a young couple with me at the man in Kenya? Ah, now, a telegram on so far, a book cost you a yama pee. For example, no, a beer and covet me a cojima. On a year um, Sabbath, no, you are even more sick at the account way home. Nansono, so when you're in Kenya, because when you're in Kenya, you're not now still young couples are born in Tino. Um, you probably not go to work on, on a year um, Sabbath not anymore. Um, I tell you, I've been so what? Um, because when you have a not I you know, um, or you don't have a couple of people, you which means in Kenya, in Kino. Yeah, Obey and say, Debbie Gram for Obi, a cabby bunny from one. Why, I want to say, you're not a auntie, you know, all because, you know, old fries, yeah. The crystal, yeah, no. We are crystal about us, so on your feet. Nancy, no, me no, me no, you're born in Tino. Crystal, oh my, I'm a tin, I'm a mutti, um, interstitial a good or so. A more at the edit, uh, a more, a more born, um, a more, a shannon, a more, um, um, at the a and yummy pea nan can send him for the lavish to go on with you almost also a born a syndium. 
and you know, a terabia, I was just making it for the sake of set when you're coming home, come home, making a time in the know, I'm I'm gonna work, I'm gonna let things go. Send you a beer when you're coming home, come home, and make me a little bit me a time. Uh, you know. In order for us to be able to truly experience the um, revival that God wants us to have, you know, we need to totally surrender our will, our bodies, our hearts, and everything to God so that God can have control of everything that we do. Um, um, so that God can have control over everything that we do. And to know, Amen. Amen. Um, and then, you know, Amen. So we've got a few prayer points that we're going to pray about. Um, first and foremost, I believe that we ought to thank God for how far he's brought us in our life. Um, because of the fact that I believe that we, before we tasted 